Hi everyone. Thank you so much for joining the Reddington and Trend Micro session. We have Javid, our pre-sales consultant from Reddington Value, who will be running throughout the session. We hope we will provide you all the information required and you can go to the Q&A button on the right. At the end of the session, we will answer all your questions. Uh, Javid, over to you. Good evening, guys. Uh, I'm Javid uh, from Reddington. Uh, thanks for joining the session. In today's session, we are going to cover the endpoint solution in uh, Trend Micro. Uh, we are going to cover one by one what are all the challenges are there with the endpoint market and uh, how we are going to mitigate that using the Trend Micro suit and what are all the different direction techniques which are available with the uh, endpoint trend micro endpoint solution and uh, what are all the technologies are there and uh, how it is going to work we'll cover one by one so let's start with the trend micro portfolio first uh, you you are all know about the trend micro it has a market presence over 30 years and uh, consistently we are the leader in gartner magic quadrant and the Forrester Wave Report and the NSS Lab also we have uh, best in terms of uh, TCO as well as uh, the breach detection system. Uh, we have effectiveness rate of around uh, 99% with no false positives and everything. And uh, and uh, this is the brief introduction about Trend Micro. I, I assume uh, you guys already know about the Trend Micro very well. And uh, let's start with the product offering in Trend Micro. So, Trend Micro, these are all the three main pillars in Trend Micro, the user protection, the hybrid cloud security, and network defense. So user protection, under the user protection, we have the endpoint and uh, email protection products. The endpoint, uh, we, uh, we are targeting both SMB as well as the enterprise. The SMB product for endpoint is called Worry Free, and uh, the enterprise product is called Apex One. The Apex One is our uh, latest endpoint security product. Earlier, we used to call it as Office Scan. Now it is called as Apex One. The uh, reason being uh, we moved to Apex One is like the objective of that uh, uh, Apex One is to integrate all the features, the DLP, the application control, the, uh, the vulnerability protection, IPS, and uh, the anti-malware, different techniques involved in the anti-malware and uh, the encryption so so all these features will be integrated into one single lightweight agent which is called apex one so this is the main objective for us to move to the latest endpoint security evolution product uh, in apex one and uh, these two products the email security and uh, the endpoint security will come under the user protection in yesterday's session, we already covered about the email protection offerings. So we have uh, four products in email, like two in the on-prem, uh, the service integration with the, the exchange server, and uh, we have mail gateway solution also for on-prem. And in the cloud, we have Caspi solution as well as the email gateway solution. So that four solution covers uh, covered in the email security product. And with the endpoint security, we have worry free as well as the Apex one. So these are all the products coming under the user protection. And under hybrid cloud security, we have a specialized product uh, which is called uh, Deep Security. So Deep Security is our next generation security product. I, uh, we don't have any competi competition in the market because we are holding more than 35% uh, of market share according to IDC report. So deep security is very advanced and uh, it has all the features. Like you can go through the Gartner report for the cloud workload protection in 2020 and 2019. They have recommended uh, 26 core controls available for the server protection. And uh, if you go through all the features recommended by the Gartner, like uh, the encryption, the compliance checking, the integrity monitoring, the firewall for the uh, server, and uh, the anti-malware signature list and signature based, and uh, zero day protection. So like this, all the controls will be integrated with the server security, with our uh, deep security, whatever recommended by the Gartner. 
and in the report the the cloud workload protection report Gart- gartner it themselves recommend the trend micro product it has uh, more uh, it has more security controls whatever recommended by the gartner and uh, and under the network pro- uh, defense we have uh, deep discovery family of products so deep discovery means uh, this uh, this is like uh, apt kind of solution which can be integrated to your uh, core switch and uh, uh, so core switch can see all the traffic so it can inspect everything it has integrated uh, with the deep discovery you have integrated uh, sandboxing uh, and our sandboxing is very specialized because we are using the custom sandboxing uh, unlike the other vendors so the benefit of using the custom sandboxing is uh, we will inspect only the targeted threats you were to your uh, enterprise users for example uh, in the enterprise in the customer network let's say they are using three versions of uh, operating system like uh, windows 7 windows 10 or uh, macbook or something so we will just take the copy of that uh, image and put it inside our sandbox along with the installed applications and everything so in this way we will we will inspect only the targeted attacks which are coming to your enterprise we won't take care of uh, other vulnerabilities uh, which are uh, which are not present in your applications we won't consider that so in this way we are reducing the processing time of the uh, signature and uh, the threats and everything so within two th- uh, two minutes maximum three minutes we can provide the signature for uh, all the uh, zero day attacks and uh, it will be working with the connected thread defense means all the trend micro products will be connected to the sandboxing solution and uh, if even if any of your endpoint detected the thread the it will share the thread details to the to the sandboxing solution and uh, sandboxing solution in turn set turned uh, share the signature to the apex central which is our centralized management product for all the trend micro uh, portfolio so that apex central will share the signature to all the connected products so this is how connected thread defense will work we have that benefit also and um, so these are all the three main pillars so the user protection the hybrid cloud security and network defense you may have this query in mind uh, why we are calling it as uh, hybrid cloud security this is deep security only the product name is called deep security which will be applicable for both on prem and the cloud environment but we are calling it as uh, hybrid cloud security the reason is uh, uh, the license flexibility with the product either you have container or you are going to support for the devops environment uh, like uh, Kubernetes container, serverless environment, and uh, any other public cloud like AWS, Azure, Oracle, Cl- Google, or any other pro- public cloud, or uh, the VDI environment, or the desktop environment, or the server environment, uh, which are outdated uh, OS like Windows 2003-2008. So you can have any products with the uh, uh, with this platform it will support everything so and uh, the license flexibility is there between the cloud and the on-prem so that is why we are calling it as hybrid cloud security and all these products will be integrated with the trend micro cloud and uh, which is our uh, source for the threat intelligence and everything and it is getting the feed from millions of devices as you know we are uh, present in the market for more than 30 years so we are collecting the feed from millions of customers and uh, we are sharing the signatures and we are applying the artificial intelligence machine learning everything into our threat intelligence and uh, if any incident happened we can pro- we have the capability to provide the signature within a second uh, let's see one by one uh, there is too many threats or malware incidents happening uh, with the current uh, network either it will be signature based signature less unknown threats zero day attacks uh, so lots of things are happening so let's see how we are going to mitigate it and a uh, few more challenges are we are in uh, we are increasing the attack surface now 
so there are lots of new applications are there and cl cloud related applications are there like evernote and uh, dropbox box everything and uh, the the outlook application and ppt the office related things lots of applications are there nowadays and uh, uh, which are uh, the shadow it is also possible without the uh, network administrator awareness or uh, it manager awareness there the users are using multiple applications so uh, this is one of the problem and uh, new devices are there either uh, corporate owned devices or uh, or uh, boi body devices lots of devices are there new locations are there we don't have any boundaries now no vpn no uh, new threats and uh, no protections from on premise defenses because uh, every users are roaming and uh, they are connected to the cloud applications so there is no vpn usage also and uh, lots of challenges with the current world and there is no boundaries in the current situation uh th there is nothing like perimeter firewall will protect you from the everything so we are more than that like uh, we are accessing the cloud applications from our home so which will create lots of uh, threat vectors let's see how we are going to mitigate that so trend micro uh has a systematic way of protecting the threats uh, unlike the so called uh, next generation vendors they will apply the uh, apply the advanced techniques like uh, machine learning and uh, artificial intelligence on their on the entry stage itself so when they are applying the applying these advanced techniques on the entry stage it will create uh, cpu utilization also and uh, lots of false positive will also be possible so uh, like uh, palo alto traps are there silence are there and uh, the crowd strike is there they are applying the uh new things like uh, the advanced uh things with the first layer only the entry stage only it will create the problem and but we are not using the using that approach we are following the systematic way of protecting the threats so first we are blocking the known threats using the signature based mechanism like uh, web reputation url reputation for that we have the signature already even if we are not using the signature also our smart scan will leverage the patterns which are available in the threat intelligence cloud so you will get the action within uh, within the action and signatures and uh, verdict within uh, within just few seconds and uh, vulnerability protection also there the ips also there and uh, lots of products uh, for uh, uh, in the current world has uh, currently lots of vendors offering the ips with a separate agent but we have all these techniques integrated into one single lightweight agent and the malware signatures are there file reputation so so these three techniques uh, applied at the entry stage and uh, for the uh, for the threats which are bypassing the first layer of detection mechanism will go through the second layer of detection which is called behavior analysis and exploit detection pre execution machine learning runtime machine learning application control the sandbox analysis for zero day protection it will go through the second layer of detection techniques so behavior analytic analysis what it will do this is required for the ransomware protection anti ransomware protection we have a rollback feature also for example even if uh, any attack or any any io file try to encrypt the encrypt the files or folders inside the user laptop we we have the capability to restore the file even after the attack uh, so these kind of behavior analysis 99% it will prevent everything the remaining 1% it has the capability of restore also so our response life cycle also very strong with that approach and uh, exploit detection so we can uh, we can detect any exploits so that are, that are coming through the network or coming through the uh, web so web related exploits will be very easily detected and stopped and the pre execution and runtime machine learning for example think about the uh, scripts which are coming in uh, coming via, without the signature for example uh, the powershell script javascript vb script which does not have uh, any signatures 
it cannot be blocked at the perimeter firewall or it cannot be blocked anywhere during the execution stage only we need to block and it, it will show the malicious behavior during the execution stage only so during that time we have a post execution machine learning as soon as uh, the the uh, power cell script started injected into the in power cell and uh, started showing the malicious behavior it will be stopped immediately and uh, we have a behavior analysis model it will also do the same thing the newly encountered program and uh, the any program which is trying to encrypt will stop it immediately and uh, we have application control also strong application control not like other vendors we are supporting the granular usage of application for example we have a hash value and a css score for each and every applications uh, available uh, available in the market now so for example uh, under the p2p we have uh, we have all the torrent and vpn related uh, signature for different types of applications and uh, and the browser related applications we support all the browser the chrome the edge the internet explorer and uh, and mozilla firefox everything will be supported in uh, browser based applications like that uh, we have a category and inside that uh, multiple applications are there we have signature for each and every application so it will be very easier to uh, lock down the application with the user laptop so in this way if the application is getting locked or uh, you give only the specific control for some of the applications to the user so in this way you can reduce the attack surface uh, so this is the application control is uh, a critical thing to reduce the attack surface uh, which is available uh, in the trend micro and uh, sandbox analysis sandbox analysis as i discussed be before we have uh, deep discovery sandbox uh, which can supports all the languages multiple languages uh, the customized uh, sandbox and uh, customized sandbox images like uh, specific to your enterprise uh, requirement with a pre installed set of applications and everything and uh, we have our sandbox can be integrated with uh, multiple vendors for example uh, if customer bought uh, this is used for the offline uh, online protection only if, if the, like uh, for example if the user is not connected to the endpoint server or to the internet then the sandbox analysis cannot be done only the other detection techniques will work if the user is connected online the sandbox analysis will leverage all the zero day patterns and everything so we have uh, sandbox analysis for the zero day attacks and uh, uh, we are providing it in two way one is cloud based sandbox and another one is on prem sandbox and from sandbox it will be usually required for the customer who has uh, other uh, portfolio apart from the trend micro endpoint if they have trend micro deep security trend micro deep discovery if they have uh, lots of trend micro portfolio then it will be required for them to run the uh, deep discovery box also it will provide zero day protection to all the connected products uh if uh, customer only has uh, endpoint protection they can even use the cloud based uh, sandboxing uh for the sandbox analysis but it will work when they are connected online only and uh, by this way we are protecting the customer using connected threat defense and everything and uh, and uh, the endpoint solution should have the strong response life cycle and uh, we have for our investigation and response we have a certain set of detection things like uh, the outbreak prevention policy which will be used to isolate the endpoints infected endpoints so this is also very strong you can uh, configure the certain threshold for example in 10 minutes if uh, the certain attack certain number of attacks happen in the endpoint then it has to be prevented uh, it has to be isolated from the network that kind of policy can be configured in outbreak prevention rule and uh, quarantine and isolation also can be done for ex um, uh, it, it can be either through the policy or uh, or uh, the certain set of detection techniques the behavior analysis model and uh, the predictive machine learning runtime analysis model what it will do it will just uh, uh, terminate all your uh, newly encountered uh, encountered uh, suspicious programs 
and uh, uh, it will protect you from that way. And uh, for investigation and root cause analysis, we have strong EDR solution. Our EDR also, you don't need to add extra agent to the endpoint. The same agent, uh, same trend micro endpoint security agent has uh, EDR facility also. So, so this is very, uh, very effective. Because in case your endpoint detects endpoint detects and whatever the detection technique we explained earlier, uh, if the threats are detected using that technique, it will share the hash value and threat details and indicator of compromise to the our EDR solution, and uh, you can uh, you can clean up the such files if it is residing on any other systems with that same pattern. So it can be done easily with the uh, with the combination of endpoint and EDR with the same solution. And uh, as you know already, we come up with the XDR also, extended EDR also. In addition to the EDR available with the endpoint, we have the same EDR facility in email also. So if the if you if customer has our email security solution along with our endpoint product, uh, we can provide them the XDR, extended EDR. If any incident happen in the mail, the same signature will be set to the endpoints also, all the endpoints also, uh, and it will happen vice versa. If any incident happen in endpoint, it will be set to the uh, mailboxes and uh, it will be used for the forensic root cause and uh, prevent the future issues. So this kind of thing also there, and the incident cleanup and response, the restoration feature, everything is there for the response stage. So this is how we are systematically protecting the uh, protecting the endpoints through the detection techniques. So this is the core solution values. Uh, it should use the cross generational blend of uh, threat detection techniques, which we explained before, and uh, it should be optimized, efficient performance across endpoints, enterprise and cloud based. So our uh, same endpoint solution will be available in cloud and on-prem. You don't see any feature difference. Whatever we are available, in, uh, whatever feature we are given to the cloud, the same feature will be available to the on-prem users also. There won't be any parity feature difference uh, with the cloud and on-prem. And uh, we provide the connected thread defense also, which we discussed earlier. So all the real-time sharing of threat intelligence and centralized visibility and control will be there. And uh, all the trend micro products will be connected each other. And uh, this is how the systematic way of protecting the threats working. And uh, at the entry stage, we are using, uh, we are using uh, web and file reputation. And uh, in the uh, after that, uh, we are using uh, pre-execution machine learning and the post-execution machine learning also there for the signature-less attacks. And then uh, behavior analy analysis for the anti-ransomware. And, uh, and uh, this is how we are using. Like uh, the static analysis will be done at the uh, top layer and dynamic analysis and uh, runtime analysis runtime machine learning and uh, the behavior analysis which are uh, do, uh, which are done during the runtime and at last stage we will use the custom sandbox analysis to cross check the verdict with our uh, sandbox so this is how we are uh, uh, we are classifying the known good data known bad data and unknown data and uh, false positive noise cancellation kind of things and at last we have the investigation and response stage, which will leverage our uh, EDR uh, functionality. See? So this is how we are providing the multiple layer of uh, protection. So we are not relying on single attack, uh, single detection techniques to prevent all kinds of attacks. And uh, we are using this many techniques at, at uh, a different uh, attack life cycle. So during the entry stage, we have uh, virtual patching. Virtual patching is one of the main feature in uh, Trend Micro. Uh, how it will work, for example, uh, if you check the recent uh, 
ransomware attack pataya or wanna cry or any other uh, recent ransomware attack it was using the port smb port uh, 445 and uh, using that vulnerability it was propagated to every machine and it leads to the ransomware so whatever uh, virtual patching how it will work uh, we we will get the signature we have uh, we have zero day initiative team which is the top contributor for the zero day attacks happening over the world and uh, in 2018 and 19 we are the contributor for uh, 67 percentage of uh, zero day attacks happening over the globe so we have the bug bounty program also and internal tre- threat research team also so they 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 ha- they are contributing more number of patents to the zero day attacks and uh, how it will work they will uh, they will get this uh, vulnerability details and they will disclose it to the third party vendors like uh, microsoft uh, acrobat reader or any other vendors and google and uh, some other team and if they found some uh, vulnerability in their applications so what uh, vendor team will say like uh, uh, based on the criticality of the attack they will take uh, time from one week to three months based on the severity of the threats for releasing the patch so in between that time the customer will be leave vulnerable they don't have any signature to protect uh, such kind of vulnerabilities so uh, since we are the major contributor of uh, zero day vulnerability we have the patent for uh, everything the our uh, zero day team has a patent for uh, zero day initiative team zda we may google that Uh, team in the uh, team you will come to know the major contribution of the team for the zero day attacks so it will release the patch immediately for the critical things and uh, that patch won't be installed with your applications or in your server or in your endpoint directly it will be installed with the virtual layer only with the endpoint security product only by this way we are closing the vulnerability exist in your applications so even if a hacker or someone try to make use of the vulnerability try to create some exploit or something it will be blocked using the virtual patching things so this is how it will work this is one of the main future in uh, trend micro and uh, the trend micro deep security product it will do the vulnerability assessment also themselves only the administrator no need to configure anything it will do the vulnerability assessment automatically and it will provide the patch uh, for the vulnerability so it will reduce the manual intervention and it will reduce the manual error the administrator no need to take care of the patch management or anything like any software additional software burden or anything so they can manage it very easily with the deep security and uh, in addition to that we have device control web reputation which will be used at the entry level the entry point of the attack and uh, during the pre execution stage we have two two type of machine learning pre execution static analysis will be used based on the signature and uh, run time analysis for the unknown attacks uh, signature less attacks so we have application control also variant protection also file based signature also this kind of things happen during the pre execution the static analysis kind of uh, attack prevention method and the dynamic analysis will be used during the run time and uh, during the exfiltration also we have a certain set of uh, technologies like uh, suspicious connection blocking the cnc blocking and everything uh, which will be done with our antibot solution and ra- lateral movement will be stopped and uh, the web reputation is there and uh, host ips is there and uh, dlp is there so this will be used at, during the exfiltration stage of the attack so in each stage we have certain set of detection technology which will block the attack so this is the a uh, major file which are contributing to the threats and attacks happening over the enterprise you can see here uh, the exe count is very low only the the number of things happen due to the script only so we need to take care of the file based uh, file less attacks also in addition to the 
uh, application control and everything. So this is how it is working. Uh, and uh, we'll see how our fileless uh, fileless attack is working in the trend micro solution. So as we see earlier, uh, so no file on the disk in the registry at web URL. The, for this, uh, we have a runtime machine learning behavior analysis and exploit protection, which will be used during the uh, execution stage. For example, when you try to open any applications and it is calling some other malicious scripts or something, then what will happen? Uh, the power your power cell script in the endpoint will try to run that uh, script, uh, malicious things, and uh, Trend Micro will come to know the behavior using the power cell uh, things, the fileless uh, malware detection methods, uh, you, leveraging our uh, techniques called runtime machine learning and behave behavior analysis and it will block it. So virtual patching, I already uh, described before, how our uh, is it a zero day initiative team working. And uh, so, uh, uh, the, uh, <coughs> so in between the time, uh, the vendor disclo uh, the, the vulnerability details will be disclosed to the vendor and uh, the virtual, the patch release will take at least uh, uh, at least one week to th three months based on criticality of the attack and criticality of the threat. So in between the time, the customer will be leave vulnerable and uh, our virtual patching will provide the patching to the endpoint security and uh, deep security products in between that time. This is how it will work. Okay, so, so what are the license suit are available with the Trend Micro endpoint protection? We have uh, the important suit called uh, smart protection. The smart protection is coming with uh, two types for endpoints for complete. So if customer need all the gateway level product along with the endpoint product, they can go with the smart protection complete suit. And uh, if they need only the endpoint related suit, then they can go with the smart protection for endpoints. So you can see that like it includes all the features available like virtual patching, the anti-malware, the full disk encryption, the file-based encryption, the trend micro MDM solution, the DLP solution. So it includes uh, all these things except the EDR. Everything will be included with the smart protection for endpoint and complete. And uh, the EDR and the network sandbox are add-on. Like uh, if you need the zero-day protection, the deep security sandbox, it will be the optional add-on and the EDR will, be, will also be the optional add-on. Remaining all the endpoint security solutions can be integrated with the smart protection for endpoint suits. And uh, for the smart protection complete, we have web gateway, the email gateway, four types of uh, email gateway products two in the on-prem, two in the cloud. The multi-layer email protection can be provided. And uh, the, uh, we have CASP solution also, cloud app security, which can protect your uh, cloud applications through API connection and uh, Office suit, uh, Office 365 suit, uh, G suit. Uh, the email protection can be protected using the mail flow rule. So we, we are supporting these two types of things. And uh, there is some flexibility for transition to the cloud. Either customer can migrate from the on-prem to cloud or cloud to on-prem or mix and match kind of hybrid network. There is no license uh, uh, license change or license movement is required from the vendor. You can use the same license uh, and uh, you can do whatever you want. Like uh, the license flexibility will be there for the transition to the cloud. and uh, the consistent on on-prem and cloud. So we have all the features, whatever available with the on-prem, we are supporting everything with the cloud of, cloud also, and the centralized visibility and control. So our dashboard also very user-friendly. You will see the attack types, the patterns, the affected users, 
and uh, the unresolved events the outdated endpoints the complaints checking everything we have we have more than uh, 200 widgets it will provide uh, details for example if cu- customer concerned about the dlp thing he can create some uh, uh, widgets related to the dlp incident investigation and it will provide them the clear picture about security violation happening due to the dlp and uh, like that uh, we have uh, lots of uh, widgets for the threat protection also and uh, uh, sorry, sorry to interrupt you but can you hide the meeting zoho uh okay. down thank you okay so connected threat defense so uh, i already explained that is uh, that is protect, detect, and response stage. Uh, we have uh, we have detection techniques, the set of detection techniques in e- each stages. Uh, so during the response stage, we have uh, we have uh, the outbreak prevention policy, EDR, the threat intelligence sharing, and uh, the sandbox and everything. And uh, detection, we have certain set of technology, and protection also we have the set of technologies. And uh, you can go through the Gartner report. This is a Gartner report for 2018, 2019 also released. And uh, with everything, Trend Micro is consistently the leader in Gartner Magic Quadrant, as well as in the NSS lab, the Forrester report and everything. So in the Forrester wave also, you can see with the stronger strategy also, Trend Micro is, uh, is at the top and uh, with the strong stronger current offering also trend micro is in the leader quadrant so you can see here and uh, with the nss lab also in case of uh, tco for example what will happen in the nss lab the the uh, the palo alto the uh, the cisco and uh, the sophos the and fortinet and some of the vendors they will uh, they will just lift their product along with the firewall to reduce the tco uh, the total cost of ownership but trend micro only only sharing the uh, the endpoint security solutions uh, without the firewall and still we are managing to get the top like with the breach detection also we are at the top and with the effectiveness rate and as well as with the tco also we are, we are the top uh, uh, that's it. Uh, thanks for joining the session. And uh, if you have any queries, uh, let me know. And uh, if you have any opportunities related to the trend micro endpoint security or email security or anything, you can uh, let me know. You can send me the mail or you can contact me. We'll work together uh, for uh, with the opportunities. If you have any questions, uh, you can let me know now. Okay. Thank you, uh, Shabit. Thank you, everyone, for your time. Uh, we have. We ho- we have delivered everything we are looking for. Uh, we will also be sending the recording session to your email ID along with the contact details of uh, Shavit. So you can write back to us if you have any more questions. Thank you again. Thank you, Shavit, And have a great day ahead. Uh, thank you, guys. Thanks for joining this session. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.